Hello and welcome to Medjugan OPC training. Uh, my name is Fabian. I'm one of the instructors here at Medjugan OPC. So uh, the idea is here to show you a little bit about this three days training and explain uh, how this goes and uh, who is attending the training. So the training is intended to show uh, how this technology works uh, deeply. So we start uh, seeing a little bit about uh, what is a client, what is a server, and we go and um, we move forward into deep and deep into uh, very big and complex architectures. Okay, so uh, the training is divided in three days. So day number one, we are getting uh, into the technology. So we understand what is an OPC client, what is an OPC server, and uh, what, what they both do. Uh, we get into the different specifications. We get into OPC DA, OPC HDA, OPC alarm and events, and OPC security. So uh, we work on theory and uh, many, many practical exercises using PLCs like these ones. So we have a Siemens S7 in here. We have a Schneider M340 in here, uh, which speaks uh, different uh, protocols, uh, Modbus, DMP3, IC 104, for example. So we make all kind of practices with this hardware and with uh, some other software, uh, making connections and understanding how this works and the different situations we can have in a real environment. Uh, day number two, uh, we understand how to, for example, historize data, we go deeply into the HDA specification, we historize data, we make trends, for example, using Excel, uh, and we get very deep into the DCOM configuration. So we spend some time uh, understanding how the client, the server, the Windows domain, the Windows network, and all the computers and the devices in the middle, they all should work together on how to configure Windows in order to make this happen. In the third day, we go deeply into advanced architectures. Uh, so also we get into security. So we get to configure how uh, some user uh, maybe can um, connect to an OPC server and he can only read a tag but he cannot uh, write a tag and maybe some other user he can read and write so we can uh, configure and set up a configuration about which user or group of users can read or write or browse uh, one tag or group of tags. We are also into uh, redundancy, we are also into moving data from one uh, controller to another, for example. And uh, also we are explaining about OPC UA. So although we have another training just for OPC UA, uh, in this training we get a little bit into OPC UA, we uh, get connected to devices just like this one, which is a very a small industrial computer with an OPC UA embedded inside. Also, hardware like this one, which we use for uh, testing purposes. This one also has an OPC UA server inside, embedded one. So we use this hardware and also software to make connections and explain how the OPC UA technology works. So the attendees profile uh, could be any kind of engineer working on uh, moving industrial data from one side to another. So uh, people doing uh, quotes, including OPC software, uh, people developing architectures, making installations. So all these people, they need to know how this technology works and how to make the configuration properly in order to just spend uh, a couple of days to make a whole configuration and installation instead of weeks or months. So if you have any comment or if you have any question, please contact me. And I hope to see you soon in our next workshop. Thank you very much.